Gameloft was a video game developer and publisher that was once quite successful. Today, we are going to spend some time discussing the company's meteoric rise and subsequent precipitous fall from grace. In 1999, Mitchell Gillimott of the Gillimott Brothers, co-founder of Ubisoft, founded the video game company Gameloft. Gameloft quickly rose to prominence as one of the most successful mobile game developers in the world during its formative years by concentrating on the creation of games for feature phones and early smartphones. During its formative years, Gameloft was able to achieve this success by focusing on the creation of games for feature phones and early smartphones. There are many reasons that led to Gameloft's meteoric rise to prominence so quickly after the company was founded. To begin, the business was one of the first to recognize the potential of mobile gaming and was quick to adjust to the rapidly shifting market. In addition, the company was a pioneer in recognizing the potential of mobile gaming. Second, Gameloft placed a significant emphasis on quality, producing games that were both thoughtfully crafted and expertly polished, the likes of which were appreciated by gamers all over the world. Gameloft was able to attract a large number of gamers because of its commitment to quality. The growth of the mobile gaming market was directly correlated to the company Gameloft's increasing level of commercial success. The company became a household name in the gaming industry and continued to release hit after hit, including well-known franchises such as Modern Combat and Asphalt. In addition, the company continued to release video games. Gameloft, on the other hand, discovered itself in an increasingly precarious position as the level of competition in the mobile gaming market increased. The company was put under an increasing amount of pressure to launch new games at a more rapid rate, which ultimately resulted in a decline in the overall quality of its products. The pressure came from both internal and external sources. In addition, Gameloft was slow to adjust to the shift toward free-to-play gaming, which made it difficult for the company to compete with other developers who were newer and more adaptable. As a direct result of this, Gameloft's market share and overall financial performance began to deteriorate. In addition, the company's stock price dropped. In recent years, the company has had a difficult time releasing new games that are profitable, and as a consequence, it has been forced to let go of a sizable number of employees as a direct result of these difficulties. Despite the challenges that have been presented, Gameloft maintains its position as a significant player in the mobile gaming industry. Nevertheless, it is abundantly clear that the company has seen better days, and if it wishes to reclaim its position as one of the most successful mobile game developers in the world, it will need to put in a lot of effort to get there. If you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel.